We're back. Here we are. Here we are driving through Kansas on our way to Denver. Day two. Day two. We're about and 400 miles away from Denver right now. How many miles is that from California? I don't know either. All right, so today's video is about our first impressions of each other. Ooh, I can't do it as good as you can. <laughs> <laughs> you start first. All right. Well, so we're right there on the beach, and what you guys didn't see behind the scenes is the guys came out first on the season premiere, and then they yeah. brought the girls out after, and we're like, "Ooh, nobody's taking a nail this season." <laughs> so we thought everyone was beautiful. All that. Then Ryan lines us all up, and they're naming off the dates, blah blah blah, and he goes, "Gianna, your mom chose." Hayden. And I'm like, which one's Gianna? And I was like, oh. <laughs> now, first, the first thing is, though, until that night when we got into the house, I thought he said Tiana. So I thought your name was Tiana. I didn't know your name. I had to ask yeah. someone. I kept asking, what's That's my date's name? I was name? like, I think her name's Tiana. But no, I thought, I even told one of the producers, I was like, I get to go on a date with one of the hottest girls here already? Like, yeah. Okay. So, of course, I had a big crush right off the bat. And, um, I guess, wasn't really the same thought process on your end. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. So, my first impression of Hayden, um, when they announced that, oh, my dog. When they announced that I was going to go on a date with him, um, I like I looked over and I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute and I think you said your name or something or you said something you were like, oh I approve of my mom's pick too and for some reason I just thought you had like this weird accent. It was his country accent, but at first I didn't pick up I on it. I don't have a country accent. Yes you do. But um so he like said something I was like, oh my god. It sounds like my date guy has like a weird European accent or something. And I kept asking other girls, I was like, does he have an accent? Does he have an accent? And I got all scared. I was like, oh my God, I feel like that's all I'm going to think about now when we go on a date. <sighs> Ironically, now that my perfect match is the only guy on the show that really does have an accent. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, they said I was going on a date with him and going into the house. And I thought you were cute, obviously. Like at first I had my eyes on someone else. And that's, you know, the, whatever, it's the game, that's the show. And so I kind of wasn't giving him much attention the first day. And then I saw your freaking corn tattoo. That was the first thing. The first thing I noticed was that he had corn on his arm and he said he was from Indiana. And I was like, oh great, I don't want to date another country guy. I dated a few country, country guys, like Ohioans, and they just never wanted to leave Ohio. And a partner, I want to travel, I want to go places, I wanted to go to California. And every guy I did was like, eh, no, I like my small town in Ohio. That's immediately what I thought of when he was like, I'm from Indiana, I like corn. And I was like, oh great, you're going to want to live on a damn cornfield with your pigs. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. No, there's not. Um, hey, I, I already told him that when we settle down, we can settle down in Indiana and have our kids there. See, I'm good at, what's the word? I'm good at compromising. Um, but no, so I, I immediately was like, oh my god, I'm probably not going to like this guy because he's just going to want to talk about how he never wants to leave home. And then we went on a date and he was like really nice to me and really cute on the date. And like we kissed and he just gave me butterflies. And then we, you know, went in the truth booth and it was a no match and I was like, I'm not going to be that girl who stays with a no match. So I was really mean to him. I never watched the show prior to that, so I was like, aw, that's it. Yeah, then it backfired <laughs> badly. I was like, the whole entire house hated us after we continued to hit it off. Yeah, but hey, no. I think our morals, our Midwest morals and values brought us back together. And as much as I wanted to broaden my horizons, maybe I'm not supposed to. Okay guys, so that is our first impressions of each other. Tomorrow, or day three, 
we'll try to find a good little scenic backdrop and just shoot a video in front of some mountains tomorrow morning. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we will check in with you guys tomorrow. Follow us on Instagram to follow the whole journey. And yeah.